In this video, you will learn how to navigate through CTrader. On your left, you will see the watch list. You can click on all symbols and choose between categories. You can click right on a pair and add it to your watch list to see it in your main page. CTrader has many qualities and we will try to cover them in this video. On the right, you can see the symbol. In this case, we're going with EURUSD. On the first tab, you can see a window where you can place a new order. Below, you can see the depth of the market. You can see the symbol information and below the inverter rate, which is bid and ask prices. Below that, you can see the market hours. You can also see which market hour you are currently in on the bottom of your page. To change your time zone, you can click on the bottom current timeline and choose a time zone that suits you. You can adjust your layout to your choosing. On the left, you can click on settings and choose general. You can see this layout mode option. You can click and hide any part of the screen that you want. On the screen, you can add multiple charts by simply clicking right on a pair you want and choose new chart. This new chart has been added to our screen. Let's check the Windows icons on the chart. This icon is multi-chart mode and this icon is single chart mode. Let's click on single chart mode. You can see that this chart has been now singled. You can choose between your pairs and change your chart. Or you can either click on multi-chart mode and see them all together. You can also use this plus icon to add new chart to your screen. Let's move on with the charts. To change your time frame, you can click on this icon and choose a time frame that suits you. You will also see various tabs named Tick, Renko, Range and Hike in Ashi. You can change your chart type by clicking on this icon. You can choose bar charts, candlestick charts, line charts, dot charts, area and HLC charts. You can also add any time frame to your favorites by simply clicking on add to favorite and it will appear on this place. You can add indicators from this button and choose a category. You can also make your drawings based on the tools available on the right side of the chart. Let's move on to learn how to place orders. On the right side of the page, you can see the order types and choose anything you want. You can also see a market order place tool on the chart itself. To place a quick market order, simply write your lot size and place your order. You will see this page. In this page, you can see quick trade mode. You can choose your click type to decide which type of click will determine your trading action. Move down and you can see these options. You can choose them or not choose them. That's your decision. You can see order type settings. Let's say that you want to place a market order, but every time you place a market order, you also want to place a stop loss and a take profit predetermined. Check this screen. You can see 15 pips stop loss and let's say 30 pips take profit. This means that if I make a market order, my stop loss will be automatically set to 15 pips and my take profit will be set to 30 pips. You can also arrange a trailing stop loss. If you don't want to decide and predetermine your stop loss or take profit in your market orders, you can simply not choose them. Go down below and click on this button to approve your market order. You can click on apply. You don't see any positions taken. That's because we have just approved to make a market order with just one click. Go to the market order again and place your order. And now you're in a trade. While you're in the trade, you can still adjust your take profit or stop loss. Click twice on this button. You will see this window to modify your position. You can either partially close your position by simply selecting a lot size. Or if you don't want to close a partial position, just not select one. 
let's arrange our stop loss and take profit. Click on stop loss and take profit. You can either change the values you see over here, pips, price, balance, profit, and distance. Or here's what you can do. Go to the chart over here and select your stop loss from this menu button and move it. Now you can see that your stop loss has been placed over here and you can see how much you are going to lose in case of a stop loss. Do the same with take profit. And now your take profit is in place. After this, all you need to do, just click on this close window button. And now your position is modified. While you're in the position, if you click on this button, this position size will be doubled, meaning your lot size will be doubled. As you can see over here. If you choose advanced protection settings, you will see this window. You can adjust take profit points to your choosing. You can also adjust your advanced protection settings on the chart. Let's say that we adjusted our take profit points like this. You can also see the remaining quantity after these take profits are hit. You can also choose this option, move stop loss to break even once your position hit a certain pips. Let's say, in this case, after 5 pips, we want to make our stop loss to break even. And now we can apply the changes. On the chart, we can see all of our take profit points. And we can see that after 5 pips, our stop loss will be set to break even automatically. Keep in mind that your device has to be connected to the internet while moving your stop loss to break even. If you want to close your position and open a reverse one, you can simply click on this button, Reverse Position. Once you do that, your position with the same lots will be closed and your trade will the other direction will be opened. To close your position completely, you can simply click on Close Position icon and your trade will be closed. Let's see how else we can place our orders. Let's start with the right side of the page. You can see that there are multiple types of orders. Let's go with the limit order. You can write your entry price over here. Enter your lot size over here. To add a stop loss and a take profit, simply click on these buttons. Here, you can see multiple options available. You can change any one of them to change the risk of your trade or some variables. For this example, we're going to change the price. Now, let's change take profit. When you change a section over here, you will also see the other variables change. You can also choose to add a trailing stop loss. As you see over here, the trailing stop loss will remain fixed a set number of pips from the current spot price. You can click on Place Order. To see your pending orders, you can simply click on Orders tab. If you want to make changes to your order, you can simply click twice on your order. You can now modify your pending order here or simply on the screen. Once you drag your stop loss and take profit, you don't need to approve something. You can simply click on Close button. To cancel your order, you can simply close Cancel Order button over here. Now your order is cancelled. You can also place a new order by using the Position tool. Find the Position tool on the right side of the page. You will see that there are multiple choices. Fixed Risk, Fixed Reward and Fixed Size. For this example, let's go with Fixed Risk. Simply click on Fixed Risk Buy and choose your entry point. Once you've placed your position tool, simply arrange your entry point. You can also adjust your stop loss and your take profit. When your position tool looks like this, you cannot place any orders because your lot size is too high for your account size. Click on this button. This will arrange your position to the nearest lot size according to your volume. You can click on Buy and place your order. 
When your order is placed, you can still make changes to it. You can drag your TP and also drag your stop loss. To cancel your order, you can simply click on this button or here, cancel all. Your order has been cancelled. Now, let's learn how to manage multiple positions at the same time. Over here, let's place a cell position and choose another pair and place another position, but on a reverse side. Now, you already know what these icons mean. Over here, you can choose which side of the positions you want to close. Simply click this button. You can remove any filters that you want or choose any one of them you want. Let's arrange the filter to close the buy positions. Simply remove the cell boxes filter. And now you can see that your filter is going to close buy positions, profitables or losing. And this is the only buy position you have available at the moment. Simply click on close. And now your buy position is closed. Over here, you can see that there is nothing to close anymore. That's because there are no positions available to your filters. Simply change your filters. And now you can close your position. You can set price alerts on CTrader. Simply go to your chart and click on right. You can see set price alert at bid price or an ask price. For this example, let's use bid price. If you want to change the place of your alert, simply drag it by the menu. You can also get alerts on your TP or stop loss or when your order is filled. To see this option, go to settings. Click on email alerts. You can also manage your price alerts by clicking on price alerts tab. You can either close them or change them on the chart. You can get used to the platform by practicing. Find new features that are not mentioned in this video. Remember that this video is just to get you started with the CTrader platform and show you how to use it.